Welcome back to The Road Show this morning in the Buzz, brought to you by the Comedy Connection. It is the end of an era for New England Patriots, with Belichick leading after 24 years as a six-time NFL champion. And this got us thinking about other eras, TV shows, and celebrities that we have seen go, and we would love to see come back. So, mm -hmm. for example, the top 10 most rewatchable TV shows include The Big Bang Theory, Friends, and Seinfeld. Now, in an online poll, the time of era of people would want to see back is in the 80s. Yes, the eight, I love the 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to musicians, people say they would have uh, loved to meet Michael Jackson. Etta James, huh. and yes, also the late Tom Petty as well. So is there any, you were saying this morning, you you would like to have friends back. Yeah, Like friends, friends for you was your connection. Yeah, that was my, um, that's what, it was kind of like my age group. Mm -hmm. You know, I was um, out of college. Right. Living in New York City. Sure. And uh, yeah, Friends was like just a great show. And also right. the Golden Girls. Yes. I love, though I watch my you girls. You watch that all the time anyway, I watch my right? girls every night, 10 so o'clock on Hallmark. They're still with you. They are still with me. They but see, but that with shows you. you the pull that some shows have when they end. It is the end of an era and you want to hold on. Right. What about you? Uh, for me, being being a young kid, like like Brendan loving late night TV, for me it was when uh, when Carson retired. Oh, yeah. I remember being a, uh, a young kid, you know, young kid. I mean, he's been gone for so for so long, and staying up and watching his final show and thinking, oh my God, is that that is like that you know that was be, it? Was that that be it. Now the weird thing is, is myself and Brendan get to run into Jay Leno. <laughs> we see him all the time. So it's so, it's like one of those moments. It's crazy. just like crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's a crazy moment. No, it is unbelievable because a lot of people, you know, like we watch, obviously these people, we watch players play on the field, we sure. watch them on TV, and we don't know them, but right. they become a fabric of our lives. They like do. they're weaved into our memories. Mm -hmm. And so when it does end, much like we're seeing a lot of people right now, obviously with the changing, with everything with the Patriots, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a mourning period in right. a way because you're used to seeing something Thing and I will never be the same and you just it's a shift for you sure. so it is emotional and I think for a lot of people I think that they probably felt the, the same way maybe even worse when Tom Brady left yeah the, the Patriots I oh mean, yeah that was their the real connection as much as they love you know Belichick as well I think when Tom Brady left for yeah, a lot of right. people, it was one of those moments where they're like oh my god He's, it's, all, it's over. What do we do now? You know, what are you going to do gonna now? Come? I mean, after these people get built up so much, and then when that person's finally done, you're like, oh, now what? Now what? Now what's going to happen? Now what? Now what's going to happen? Now it's different. Yeah. So the TV shows, when The Sopranos ended, I was devastated. Were you devastated? I really was. Like yeah. I was like very invested into The Sopranos. I was very like, re oh, I was all in on that. That Game of Thrones, when that ended, I was okay. deeply saddened when, when that ended too. And even Succession. Which is up for a ton, ton of uh, awards for the Emmys. Yeah. Succession is such a, another great show. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, there are definitely shows that when they've ended, I've just been like, Friends was definitely one of them. But, you know, I mean, even, um, oh my gosh, well, you're going to laugh. I don't know if I can say this on TV, oh. but the Creek one, Blank Creek. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's great. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I, yeah, yeah, not yeah, so yeah. good at this. No, no. I don't want to say a thing wrong. Another great show. That, when that oh, ended, I honestly I remember too. saying to Matt, what are we going to watch? Dude, I, dude, I, I agree what with that. I agree with that one, too. That was that oh. was another one. Brandon, what, well, for you, it was uh, was it was Seinfeld? Well, you actually. know, uh, my life peaked in the 90s, mm -hmm. so I still haven't recovered from the horror that was 1998 when Michael Jordan retired from Bulls and Seinfeld went off the air. Got I it, still yeah, haven't was, recovered. Yeah, that Those, was a big year. <laughs> especially for me, because you know what it is? It symbolizes when you're young and these things that have seemingly always been around right. go away. Now, they live in syndication, obviously. The video clips will live on forever, but it's these things that have always been there are no longer there. Yeah. Right. Or they're there in a different form. And That's it's your, your first, first kind of realization that yeah. life kind of moves on. Mm -hmm. Because when you're a kid, you have no concept of time. It's just one endless party. Mm. <laughs> really. Also, so um, when Letterman, when he signed off The Late Show for the final time in 2015, I mean, he was a huge inspiration for me wanting to do this. And the final season of Curb Your Enthusiasm is coming up. It starts, I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. <laughs> don't know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? And I'm telling you, when Metallica, if they ever call it quits, oh, I, yeah. that's going to be bad. It's going to be tough do for you. you. <laughs> do you think that would be will be a bigger moment than Seinfeld? That's a great question because they're, they're still going and creating right. new stuff and touring. I, right. Right. He doesn't even want to talk. Look at him. Do you think it was will be a bigger moment than when Michael Jordan retired? Uh, you know, I think it might be because the peak years of me loving Michael Jordan were, you know, here. The Metallica thing's still going. Yeah. People still love Jordan, obviously. But a friend of mine put me on the spot one time and he said, would you rather interview David Letterman or James Setfield? Oh. Guys, it was tough. 
Right. I, I, I can't even tell you the answer. Right. <laughs> I, I can't tell you because they've both uh, been such huge inspirations for me. And Will once put me on the spot, Audrey, on the show. He goes, if you could have a pair of game-worn Air Jordans or a guitar that James Hetfield used. I never forgot about that, Will. Right, right. No, I know. I know. You're still thinking about that. I'm still thinking yeah, about it. An you, know, you know what I think? Is, and I think your answer would be, even if you were given the Sophie's Choice between Letterman and, and Metallica, I think you're still leaning towards Metallica. I... Uh, I can't answer the no, question. No, I do. I really do. I also, I also think that if you were given the choice between the the Jordans and the guitar of Metallica, I still think you're going with Metallica. Uh, I yeah, yeah. look at me. I've never seen Brian. I'm speechless. torn. I'm torn. Yeah. I'm torn. Yeah. It's, torn. Right. it's shocking why I can't commit to another you can't person. Commit. If I was <laughs> betting in going to Atlantic City in oh. New Jersey. See how we tied that all in? I did. Uh, I would have a beach, a beautiful beach. I would have bet I'm betting on that. All right. Well, Spin the wheel. It's an interesting <laughs> discussion. On that unanswered note, let's go to the big board, ladies and gentlemen, and see what you, our loyal and dedicated viewers out there, had to say. Dennis is up first. The end of Ted Williams' baseball career was memorable, as was Pawtucket's own pro footballer, Jerry Philbin. Yes, who hosted with Kathy Lee. I went to school with his nephew. Really? Yes. <laughs> how about that? Jerry Only Philbin. And of course, I'm just being a wise, you know what, invoking Regis. Carolyn adds the 80s. There you go, the best decade ever. Music, life, but the hair and clothing styles were questionable. But not at the time, right? That's what was going on. Marlene shares a memory. Bobby Orr and the Big Bad Bruins. Yes, what an era that was. And David closes out the comments today with some fond words for... Bill Belichick, thanks for the great memories, Coach. You are the GOAT. There you go. Thanks for chiming in, everyone, and please keep those comments coming, and they may be shown right here on the show. Follow us at The Road Show, Facebook, Twitter X, and Instagram, and we'll see you Monday. <laughs> <laughs>